Now let's review what scales the user will see when they're using Open Roads Designer or MicroStation. That's controlled by the scales.dev file, and that's just an ASCII text file. Anything that starts with the hashtag would be a comment, and so you can read at the beginning uh, the different particular format settings in here. The heart of this file will then show the different scale ratios. Uh, for example, if you have a 1 inch is 50 feet, that is a 600 to 1 ratio, taking into account the 1 inch equals 12 foot factor. 1 comma 3 means that this scale setting is available for international foot and for survey foot. Uh, 2 means that it's available for the metric environment. If you wanted to add a scale, let's say for example you wanted a 1 inch equals 2 feet, you would come in, I find it simpler just to copy a line and paste, and we'll change the comment block, and then we'll change the ratio. That would then give us a 1 inch as 2 feet as an option. Now, if 1 inch is 2 feet is not stored in the system and so it just shows you in the drop down the word shown here, you can go ahead and put in whatever comment you want. So if I wanted to say one inch equals two feet and have that show up in my drop down, that is acceptable as well. Now let's take a look at the units definition file, which sets what units are available within the product. And again, this is an ASCII text file. So if we come in and take a look at it, one of the things that you're going to be looking for is is this the latest formatted file? In other words, do I have a file that's 12 years old that doesn't have all of these columns? That would be one thing that you're checking for. And based on your units, uh, whether it's metric or international foot or survey foot, you will see that designator out here in the very last column right before the comment. A number two is for metric, a number one is for international foot, and the number three is for survey feet. And the way that this works, if you were working in survey foot, for example, your first series of columns before the semicolon shown here, uh, for example, this line represents survey tenths. So these are just the different abbreviations for the uh, suffix of that particular dimension. And then you have your numerator and your denominator columns that designate the actual math uh, to determine uh, those unit scales. And so there's uh, survey tenths is highlighted here. Here we have uh, survey inches. And then uh, lastly, we have a survey mile or a mile, and then also a survey foot, a couple of or three different abbreviations for the survey foot. And so if you wanted to know, you're, you take your 39 through 70 numerator, divide that by the 12,000 denominator, and that will give you your scale ratio uh, for the survey foot. And so these are typically not uh, things you have to uh, concern yourself with unless there is a particular suffix label that is missing uh, that you want to add, or perhaps there's one that is enabled that you don't want. Let's say that you're working international foot. You would never use micro inches or mills. You can come in then and pound out or comment out that line or those lines, and they would not be available uh, when setting the working units within a design file. The last definition file we want to take a look at is the one that controls the sheet sizes available to us when we're cutting sheets. And again, we want to make sure that we have the latest version of this file uh, simply by looking at the number of columns and make sure all of the settings are there. This is the file that we can modify to add additional sheet sizes. And so, for example, ANSI D is 22 inches by 34 inches, no margins, and it is available to us in the first set of units, which is going to be inches. We also have another set of units called millimeters for the metric environment. If you want to introduce margins, for example, if you want a ANSI D cut sheet, what it does here is it introduces a one quarter inch margin all the way around uh, the file. If you wanted to add something, for example, like for stacked cross-section sheets, in this example here, uh, we have a really large height, and then the width is 
a standard 36 inch or three foot wide roll, but a really tall piece of paper. So you can come in and put custom sizes in here as well. And when you are setting up your sheet C definitions, you would be able to then select the appropriate uh, sheet size from this particular text file.